Hey, how's it going? Adam here. Rising bright and early. Well, look at the time. It's not exactly early, but I woke up about two hours ago. I've just been mucking around the house, doing some cleaning before I go off to the gym. Um, but I wasn't going to go do a video, but this happened. You've got the pre uh, protein powder here, and one of these sachets of stuff called silica gel, which is a water absorbing agent. So your protein powder, if there's some water inside, doesn't get, well, clumpy because of the water and expire. So what happened is I nearly drank it, you know, I, it was in the powder so deep that I just took a scoop out. Um, but the funny thing is, like, I just I had a feeling something was wrong, so I put my spoon in and, yeah, pretty much out came the little thing. So what I've got is a tip for you. It's uh, always keep these spoons, they come in handy for other things like cook, cooking measuring and this other stuff from our previous high, um, protein powder that I had before. And as you can see the bucket I've had in my earlier bids, that's the 5 kilo big one, but um, I've put that protein powder into a smaller, it's pretty dark in there, so I'll bring it out to the light so you can see, but I've um, put the protein powder in there, so it's airtight seal, pretty good, actually I can also put the silica gel in there as well, but what I need to show you is, you keep these spoons from the protein powder, and then when you find the little silica gel thing, you put it in that cup and then you put, so I've got two spoons in there, I'll have two spoons in there now. The one that I'm, us, the one that I'm using for measuring and the one that um, I'm going to put the little spoon of um, silica gel in. That way it's always there and I know where it is, it's not floating around somewhere in the powder. Now you can't die of this stuff but probably get a stomach ache. I mean, they wouldn't put they wouldn't put stuff in with food if they know it's toxic, right? So yeah, um, you you're just better off not eating it. That's all I'm going to say. But um, other things to say um, on this video, I might as well show you my new skins. I wasn't going to make a video, but yeah, I bought it yesterday, and um, it's like a rash vest, but it's actually compression compression based, so it squeezes all your muscles together, so you can see. And what it's supposed to do is keep them warm, so you know you can train them in off. I'm actually going for a bike ride right now anyway, so I've decided to wear it. I'm not too sure about wearing it to the gym for looking like a douchebag, but some people do. I'd prefer to wear, wear the um, compression shorts because I have um, sore knees sometimes from doing squats. Um, had a problem with that a few well, a year ago, and I just couldn't move my knees, so I had to get rehabilitation for that, which consisted of just putting it up on ice, resting it. Fuck, it was so annoying because I couldn't even get on a bike, which is my favourite. I had to train on an elliptical trainer for about a couple of months and finally got better. What it was, it was a torn ligament. Yeah, I got that from jumping over a fence, but we won't discuss that. It was stupid of me. So anyway, yeah, my compression vest, um, these are quite pricey, this one was 120 and you can see, actually the best part where you can see it's pushing is this part here, the seam, it snaps like an elastic, like a tight pair of socks, that keeps your body in sort of shape. It's hard to explain, I've never sort of worn one of these, it just feels like a rash vest, to tell you the truth, but when I start sweating on the bike, I'll see what happens and I'll talk to you then. Have a good day.